Welcome to Amsterdam. We're here with the Golf TSI Blue Motion. It's the first time that Volkswagen's ever put a three-cylinder engine into a Golf and the first time a Blue Motion's ever had a petrol engine. Yet it has more torque, more power and lower emissions than ever before. Let's see how it drives. The new Golf TSI Blue Motion is a typical Golf. At 4.25 meters long and 1.79 meters wide, it measures exactly the same as the standard Golf inside and out. And as with all other Golfs, the Blue Motion is a high quality vehicle that offers lots of options for individual configurations. The list of possible security, assistance and infotainment systems leaves nothing to be desired. You can tell it's a Blue Motion because of the badges on the front and the back, but there are some differences from the standard Golf. For example, behind the front grille, there's a panel that automatically adjusts the air intake dependent on the temperature of the engine. The whole car itself is about 15 millimeters lower and on the back, there's a rear spoiler that all adds up to help the aerodynamics of the car. The TSI Blue Motion also comes fitted with low rolling resistance tires, which reduce the power needed to drive the car. The new engine is not only small, it consumes less. Fewer cylinders mean less friction. But what makes the new EA211 engine so special? The first example should be the our cylinder head, uh, there's the exhaust manifold is integrated, you can see it here, uh, where the, the exhaust uh, ports of the individual uh, cylinders uh, uh, come together within the cylinder head, uh, and there we, we have a very efficient cooling of the exhaust gas, and so we can uh, drive the engine uh, over the whole uh, full load range with Lambda 1. Uh, that's a big advantage. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this is very a, a compact, uh, it pulls very compact in the cylinder head. It's lighter, we save weight, uh, and it's also more efficient uh, in the cooling up phase of the engine. Another uh, feature, very nice feature, I think we can see on this side of the engine. Uh, there we have, uh, uh, we can uh, manage different cooling of the cylinder head and the block. Uh, the, 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 uh, the water pump is integrated within this part and we can drive different uh, temperatures on the block and on the cylinder head. So we usually we like more warmer temperatures on the block uh, the, the, that minimizes the friction level of the engine and uh, for the combustion uh, we need uh, a, a significant cooling on the cylinder head. The new Golf TSI Blue Motion from Volkswagen has a three-cylinder engine, but you wouldn't know to drive it. It looks, feels, and sounds exactly like a four-cylinder, but it's incredibly quiet in the cabin. The ride is really smooth, and you especially notice that when you drive slowly through town. You really can't hear anything at all. The typical jerking on a three-cylinder engine during starting and stopping has not quite been defeated by Volkswagen yet. The automatic start-stop is more noticeable than in other models. Otherwise, there's really no different experience from the previous engine. The car has more power, more torque and better fuel consumption than the previous 1.2-litre four-cylinder engine. They say it will do 4.3 litres worth of economy. We don't know yet, but it's looking good so far. The new Golf TSI Blue Motion is available with a 6-speed manual or 7-speed DSG. Either choice should not affect consumption. The 115 PS and 200 Newton meter engine propels the Golf from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 9.7 seconds. Topping out around the circuit at 204 kilometers per hour means the car has more than enough power and speed to safely satisfy everyday use. With a starting price of 20,450 euro, the TSI Blue Motion is around 1,000 euro more expensive than the 110 PS 1.2 liter four cylinder. The consumption savings of around 0.6 litres per 100 kilometres and CO2 emissions of 99 grams per kilometre will probably not be enough of a reason to buy in Germany. In other countries where there are significant tax breaks for vehicles with emissions under 100 grams of CO2, things look very different. In any event, the car is much more agile than its four-cylinder predecessor and scores highly in performance, torque and consumption. Volkswagen says that the Blue Motion TSI should do 4.3 litres of fuel efficiency. Earlier on, we managed to achieve 5 on the highway, but then we turned off the air conditioning and it dropped as low as 
driving pretty consistently, we managed to get 4.4. But I think driving regularly, you should manage to get at least five. And in a car that has 115 brake horsepower, that's pretty good.